three. Um, I didn't start this letter early to get a head start, but because I felt like writing and didn't care if it was my uh, blah, blah. Let me start over. I didn't start this letter early to get a, a head start, but because I felt like writing and didn't care if it was my turn or not. <coughs> Last night was daylight savings time. Um, it has done a number on the boys. Um, Gabe is awake, and the time is now 10. He will get a rude awakening tomorrow morning, buddy. He has been driving me insane. Seriously. This was last week when he was off school. Um, tonight, we video chatted, and it was cool. It wasn't really unlike any other night. I have been super primal, though. You were laying back against your wall and exposing everything to me. It was pretty awesome. <clears throat> I was very much turned on. I was imagining you in my mouth. <laughs> And, um, I didn't know if it was because I can't or what, but when I masturbate, I like thinking about that. I've always enjoyed it. Of course, it was with random guys. There's this big <laughs> black guy in Requiem, um, a Requiem for a Dream, or Requiem for a Dream. I think it's Requiem, but, um, and you know who I'm talking about, because I'm pretty sure that you and I watched that movie together. Um... And he makes um, Jennifer Connelly go down on him. I think he's awful looking, but um, that was a super lusty, for, <laughs> a super lusty part for me. Um, and still is. Um, and I'm ashamed to admit it, but I just did. So, oh well. Um, I guess it's the force the dude uses that turns me on. It's the same you often use. I dig it. We have been talking a lot about sex from my point. Well, like, what, like, what do I really want? What do I fantasize about? Well, the most dirty thing I could think about, and most of the time it's fairly standard, and because of this is the letter, and I'm most comfortable, I will tell you there is a part of me that just wants to hurt you. <laughs> I feel weird about it because I doubt you'd receive much pleasure from it, but something inside of me gets off on giving you pain. I guess it feels wrong because we are always taught to be the tender lovers and blah blah blah. But you know, uh, but you know, like receptive, make sure they're enjoying it too because um, I like to blah blah. <laughs> I like to seriously just hurt you. With you is what comes to mind first. Spanking is there too, though. I'm not talking about like a light little spank, but like making your body red, running my nails down your back and making you bleed. I already do that. Uh, I don't think you enjoy it either. I like the idea of strapping you uh, upright, like standing, um, we talked about this yesterday, um, to a board and like uh, you wearing something where only your junk is out, like pretty much fully clothed, um, and your face is covered and I am like torturing you. Uh, making you come where I want you to, when I want you to, or if, I'll leave that part for you to read. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know I'm insane and a freak, I just like to go a little crazy on you, like drug you and take advantage of you. What do you think? I know you aren't bothered by these things because you're just as much of a freak as I am, but still I have to pause and wonder if this turns you off. Not everyone is down for all this sort of thing. I can think maybe uh, one or two guys from my past would have been okay with it. But all the others were too much of a man. Though when you get down to the core of a man or a woman, you have what is your primal self. And I've never known anyone else's but yours and my own. I guess that's why and I only know yours from, you know, from you telling me kind of thing. So, um... And I guess that's why it bugs me that you sometimes share personal details with your friends. You are exposing something slash someone, I give to only you. Um, and that's not like a cheap shot or anything. Uh, okay. 3-16-2001. Hey, uh, you're doing an out-of-stock audit. I'm going to get some writing time in before you call. There is a topic we should discuss probably on the phone but I'd like to try to feel my way through the words here first. Your letter, which is right here, is intoxicating. <laughs> um, that was like a parenthesis side 
note because it smells good. Okay, so you read from the summer journal today and asked for a reaction la later, and it's not that I needed time to sift through my feelings, but I knew I'd address it here and probably do it best here too. Okay, so while you read, while you read all that, um, it made me remember how crazy I felt at the time to know how you really felt to, 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 uh, um, meant to get across the fact that I wanted to know how you felt at the time, um, how, like, you really felt, not just how you were telling me you felt, um, about us and me, it seems you were fairly level-headed, I applaud your efforts in being able to hold back and leash, I try to, but it never goes well, I end up sharing, like, about your decision and living together. So anyways, I also hate that there was a time when all this seemed so scary and uncertain to both of us, but mostly to you. I can imagine you felt alone at points and just going on. My word is pretty big of you considering our past, and I'm glad you did. Mm, I know you had serious doubts. It's funny because hearing all that didn't make me funk at all. It made me think, God, we are the same. It made me feel closer to you because you were exposing deep thoughts and fears. That time was so uncertain, it was scary, and I'm glad it's long gone. I remember thinking about how you must feel a lot, though. I knew if I were in your shoes, this would bother me. That's why I chose not to sleep with Jared again after you and I reconnected. I mean, I had no want to, but it felt like if I had, <coughs> it would have been a huge slap in the face to the time and effort spent on us. It's what I don't get about Ford. I say this with complete... Um, niceness in my heart, but I don't think Sarah and him will work. Maybe they will, but if, uh, if I were entertaining love for one person, there's no way I could sleep with another. Ford didn't love Cindy, yet he loved Sarah. Why even bother with Cindy? Seriously, he was just damaging Sarah and him. Uh, now Sarah is a tough cookie, and she may have issue with it. Um, and that might... It, she may may not have issue with it, and that might work for them, but I could never do that to you. But anyways, I got off topic. The journal seems fair, and even uh, even I had even if I had issue with it, it seems like well he was funking. I'm glad you were patient with me. It was hard, but you stood by me, and I appreciate it all. I know I sound lame or like an 80s song, but it's all true.